In the second video, we're going to compare the email and calendar applications on Android 2.0 with Windows Mobile 6.5 running uh, HTC TouchFlow 3D. And then in the final video, we're going to take a look at the settings, the programs, and the marketplaces and those nuances between the two operating systems. Let's go ahead and begin with Android this time. You do have two applications. You have one which is a general email application and you have a Gmail application. If you have Gmail accounts, they will be um, push Gmail and you can go ahead and tap on those and you can set up more than one Gmail account. Tapping on an email will open up that email in HTML formatting and you can scroll left, right and pan up and down as well. Pictures are not automatically loaded to protect your privacy, but you can tap on it and it will load pictures. And you can also search within email. So let's go ahead and search for some of Brandon's email by typing in his last name. And it will load up some of the um, conversations that Brandon and I have. And if you keep on swiping up, it will continue to load more conversations on the server. In the email application, you can configure multiple accounts as well. Um, they could be Gmail accounts or they could be corporate accounts, exchange accounts, or any other POP or IMAP account. You do have a combined email inbox, which is nice. And once you're in the combined view, you see the color coding on the left-hand side here and that color coding shows the different email accounts at a glance. So if you tap on this Mobile World Congress email, you can see it formatted in HTML view. And you can also view it in landscape mode as well. In Google, um, Android 2.0, you have two calendars. You have a regular calendar, which, which uh, syncs up to your Google Calendar for your Google account. You can tap on it. If you tap and hold, you can do a new event that way. And everything is very finger friendly. You can choose from the radio buttons here. You can set it and then you can type and pull up the on-screen keyboard. So we're going to say test event. And then once you're done, And here, um, after you're done, there's no way to get rid of the on-screen keyboard. You have to either tap on a field or you can scroll from the top. So that's a little bit of an annoyance and you can select which calendar. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on the calendar, select it, scroll to the bottom and hit done. And the event has been created. So there's not really that much special with the calendar. You can scroll through, swipe left and right so that you can move to different dates. Let's go ahead and view it, view the month view. In the month view, if you have stuff going on, it will show you in green. So let's go ahead and see our calendar for that day. And then you also have a corporate calendar application as well. We're going to go back home. I'm going to go ahead and open our corporate calendar. This syncs up with your corporate exchange server. You don't, I don't have one set up, but if you do have an exchange account, you can configure it right here so that it will sync so you can keep a separate work and home life if you want. Let's go ahead and look at calendar and email on TouchFlow 3D and Windows Mobile 6.5. Let's go ahead and begin with uh, email. TouchFlow 3D gives you this email widget that you can flick through without opening it, but let's go ahead and open up our inbox. And we're gonna go ahead and pull up that same Facebook invitation. Here, some of the main pictures are blocked. And you can only scroll up and down, you don't really scroll left or right, but you can tap here and set that option so that you can scroll right in this one so you can pan around and have more of a desktop-like email browsing. 
and internet pictures are automatically blocked as well to protect your privacy. On Windows Mobile 6.5, you can set up a number of different emails account, email accounts, including Pop, IMAP, and Exchange. With Exchange, however, you can only set up one Exchange account. On Android, you can set up multiple Exchange accounts to sync with. HTC also implemented Facebook uh, Connect so that you can sync up with your Facebook account as well, which uh, Android natively supports, but Windows Mobile doesn't unless you have the HTC support built in. So you can see the photo contacts for your Facebook and also birthdays for your Facebook contacts. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at calendar. This is the main calendar. You can go ahead and view the day view. You also have the month view. Under day view, you will also see um, the temperature so you know the how to address appropriately if it's a cooler day or if it's a warmer day, which is a nice uh, quick glance at it. We're gonna go ahead and launch calendar. And let's go to and create a new appointment. Unfortunately, the finger friendliness ends there because here um, it's not as elegant. You don't have the radio buttons and the pull downs as you do on Android, but it's still navigable with your fingers. And you can type in test appointment if you need or test event. And then you can tap here and then select a date. And with the end time, you can switch to a number keyboard and say, let's say, 4 o'clock P. And that should do it. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. So that's a quick look at calendar. Unfortunately, it doesn't differentiate between a home or work calendar. You can set separate calendars within, um, within the calendar app, but you don't have two calendar apps, which may be a good thing as it does avoid some confusion for new users. So this has been a quick look at the email and calendar applications for new users on Android and Windows Mobile 6.5. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at settings, programs, and how Marketplace differs on both uh, devices with the different operating systems. And we have previously explored the user interface, voice command, and multimedia in the first uh, video. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the last installment.